Have you seen the video that OK Go made, the band uh, with the amazing Rube Goldberg machine? How did they do it? The making of This Too Shall Pass, next on Twitter. Let me say uh, welcome to all three of you. It's really great to have you. And what an incredible video. I know you've got millions of views already in just a few weeks on uh, YouTube and everywhere. And, and we talked to Damien of uh, OK Go, and um, clearly they have a vision. Adam, did, did they come to you and say, uh, here's what we want to do? Or how did this, how did this happen? Yeah, actually, they, they sent out an email uh, to uh, a, a, a number of their friends, I guess, who were sort of in the techie community. And... Uh, one of, we happened to share one of those friends in common, and, and he forwarded the email to us. And uh, it was a it was relatively simple email. I mean, maybe two paragraphs, just sort of saying, "Hey, you know, we want to build a machine that we dance with." Uh, of course, we had known them from their previous video successes, and uh, we were really excited by the opportunity to work with them. And of course, you know, to to have the opportunity to build a machine like this, this doesn't come up very often. So, what does Sin Labs do normally? You uh, probably well, you're not like the Rube Goldberg machine design company. No, no, that's right. Okay. No, we, we are, we're a collective of artists and designers and technology folks. Um, we, and we love creating interactive art. And uh, so this, this, this group of about, I don't know, about 15 sort of core individuals or so and a, a whole bunch of, of additional f people who really love to come together on a regular basis and create great um, interactive pieces uh, for parties. Uh, we have a monthly event called Mindshare downtown LA, uh, where where we get to, we get together and show off some of the stuff. But we also do corporate events, and we've we've had pieces at LACMA for Halloween and, oh, and more recently for yeah. So we we've been we've just been producing art um, in this sort of you know applied physics and and technological way for a while. And in fact, if you go to uh, the OKGo.net site uh, and look at the This Too Shall Pass uh, page, you'll see that there's a large crew of people. Yes. Who worked on this machine. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. How long yeah. did it take to build? Well, um, let's see. We, we started having the conversations in uh, late August with the band. Uh, we started, I think, I, I guess we pretty much decided to work together by mid-September. Uh, we didn't get a space until uh, early November. So we spent a lot of time sort of just whiteboarding things, you know, and, and imagining, but not a lot of time actually building until, uh, like I said, we got the space in early November. We, it took us... Uh, gosh, a couple, three weeks to clean the space and paint it and run power. So um, it, it was definitely, it, and that was that was Dan and Hector, by the way, Herculean effort, the two of them responsible for, for cleaning and, and running power and lighting the place. Um, once we got to that point, you know, the holidays kind of killed us, but we probably got a good week, a week and a half in in December, and then it was just a plow time from all of January and then the first <laughs> week in February. Pretty amazing. Let me play, uh, you know, we, we don't want to take so much of your time. We've got about 15 or 20 minutes. So let me, I think the fun thing to do would be to go through a little bit of this. And then as any of you uh, want to talk, and, uh, and I should explain uh, that we have three of the thousands of, the cast of thousands who, who <laughs> did this. Uh, and Adam is the president Billions. of Sin Labs, but uh, in the upper right-hand corner, Hector Alvarez, who is, was responsible for the top floor. The director on the top floor and uh, right, Dan right. Busby, like the first, the first of half of the of the show, show, basically. Right, and then and, and then they go upstairs and the uh, or downstairs. Downstairs, downstairs. right? They yeah. go downstairs and then so the bottom floor director is Dan Busby. He's in the lower left hand corner <laughs> there. So, um, and and the people who are at least at the beginning of the of the uh, video are the is the band. At the end, you see a, a whole bunch of people up on the top floor uh, who I presume were the people who built this thing. Yeah, a lot of those folks who built it. That's right. So they all they all get credit. So let's, you know, stop me if you if you see something you want to talk about. Oh, but, this will take forever. Well, we can <laughs> look, watch. I can scrub. I can There's scrub. So you see, about so I can oh, scrub. Wow, I can pick wow. anything you want. So oh, I'll wow. just I'll just play the first few bars just so people get an idea of 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 this amazing video. And you, you know, everything okay you know, goes you know, done. Actually, it's worth mentioning here that we're outside, right? I don't know if it's I don't know if this is right. outdoors. Yeah, we're outdoors yeah. here. We're on the loading dock. Uh, of this building, and it was it was built on a hill, so it's somewhat deceptive that there would be an, uh, you know, like an outdoors, and then we go downstairs. It's like, very confusing, like, yeah. Like in this weird sub basement, um, we had originally actually talked about um, starting on the roof of the building and having sort of a view of the city, and then going through a hole in the roof, but that proved to be a little bit reckless. Um, <laughs> but yes, we're outside on a loading dock there. <laughs> okay, so it's fairly it's fairly complicated. They've got a great interactive floor map. If you want to uh, go look at the uh, floor map at the OKGo.net. Uh, site so you can see all of the stuff so he's outside in the loading dock now yeah now how many takes does it take 
to do something like this. Oh, wow. So it didn't many. work the first time, did it? No, it did not. No, we, did <laughs> eight, not we did 85 takes, and we got through it three times. Yeah, Damien said there were, there were, that the, the final video is, a, is intercut between the three final takes, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yep. And I have to say, it's fun to watch for, there aren't, there aren't, as far as so, I can tell, any continuity. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I just, if, I mean, if, if you're, if you want to hear, like, little random yes. fun facts, that tell thing me. you're looking at right now was one of the trickiest things that we had in the entire machine, in the sense that in the morning, it worked differently than what how it worked at night, because <laughs> of the temperature changes, kind of, like, kidding. changed the rails of the balls and everything. Oh, So, man. it's, it was, even to that level of precision, like, that that beginning part just was the like the the majority like the big bulk of all the takes failed around that area well that's good you'd rather have so them fail at the beginning than the last thing right 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 right, right. yeah no absolutely that was that was definitely part of the plan right from the beginning you want to have the most reliable stuff last and ah. thankfully because of the concept of the video the the, the the stuff at the end was really big right and because we really wanted to like jump up and scale and big things are very reliable they, they yes. things tend to fall where they should Whereas small things, even like some the 55 small gallon drum changes. at the end will always fall the same way. Nature's good that way. Yeah. yeah, but those darn little metal balls never never fall the same way, and it's super unpredictable. Oh, that's really amazing. And Had you done anything like this before? <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> this was definitely a, <laughs> like a complete By new the way, experience Leo, for us. Want to go back? Through. Yeah. I'm sorry, Hector. If you want to go back for a second, the the part where the spinning, uh, the spiral is spinning around the candlestick. Yeah. That's a that's a strainer um, uh, spinning around that that sort of odd shaped candlestick, and that, that actually was was designed in large part by Damien's father. Really. And, uh, and Damien's roommate Jamie, who's a phenomenal guy and, a, and an incredibly talented engineer. Damien's uh, the lead singer for OK Go. His father is right. uh, an artist. What does he do? His father's a retired engineer. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So he came in in the last couple of weeks and really helped with that table. He made, he made a tremendous contribution. This is so great. Now, one of the things that's fun to watch is that the band members are obviously repositioning every time. You know, they're, they're, they're obviously, they must have been crazy running around. Okay, you go here. And, and towards the end of the video, you could tell they're kind of, they're not exactly sure if they're in the right spot. They're looking <laughs> around like, am I going to get hit by a paint gun here? What is going to happen? It's part of the oh, fun man. of the video, actually. Well, we didn't, you know, we didn't get to the end very often, and right. so it was it was always a wonderful surprise when we got there. And <laughs> They're I looking. Think, I think they were as surprised as we. <laughs> shocked. Happened, what are we you know? doing here? We're done. Right. Yeah, they yeah, like, run this part over here. Because, because Go they're ahead. running would jostle things while they're running by. Right. And so they they were like running on you know soft feet soft feet the entire way, trying to not disturb everything on their on their way to their. They they have spot. to tiptoe around. Yeah. As yes, they, they did. As they're doing it. Oh, that's so mm -hmm. funny. So this part, you were going to say something, Hector? No, I mean, I, I really like this little Lego part because it's just so chock full of little details that people won't, like, that they they were basically made so they're almost unnotice unnoticeable right. unless you watch it in HD. Like, there's an entire OK Go concert going in the back with a little band member. You can see uh, them. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of see that. And you can they're see there's a little figurine of Damien and his, like, marching band costume right at the here? very beginning. At the beginning of the, of the, um. Of this wow. little ramp. If you go yeah, back, if you, yeah. you see back right there in front of Tim. Hold on, we're going to play it again. Right, right there. there in front of Tim, there's like a little Lego Oh, right figure. here. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it's a tribute to their amazing marching band video, which was the first video for right. this song. Right, Boy, you really, you do. You have to oh, yeah, zoom in and look to really yeah. appreciate this. And, and and if you if you notice real quick when the car goes by, it mm -hmm. knocks down this little thing, and all like little trim, like uh, marching band members with their little ghillie suits come like pop up on the front edge and start dancing. And it's only there for like a few frames, but that's it's like the crazy. whole thing is just full of these details that there they are. I hope yeah, people, yeah, there you are. <sighs> that's hysterical. Yeah, but that's so what makes that's this fun to watch. Section. Yeah, you just want to watch it over and over because you can't believe all the intricacy of what's happening here. And for this, those things to play. <laughs> I mean, come yeah, that, on. That was Brady Spindle that made that, and he worked long and hard trying to get that thing just right. Oh. It was. Wait a minute! You just destroyed tricky. a piano. Wait a minute! We got to go back here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Crash! Oh, frame by frame, Leo. Otherwise, you're gonna miss everything. Do you have to build that piano every time that you're gonna do that? It would fall kind apart, of. and we'd screw it back together as best we could. And then if it <laughs> became too too bad, then we just scrapped it and started with a new one. Yeah. Uh, there, you must have had a bunch of TVs because you destroy a TV in here. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. There was a lot of expendables. <laughs> yeah, we had Unbelievable. Two, <clears throat> two pianos that slowly fell apart. They, they were never meant to fall apart. It was supposed they were, they were, Initially, they were supposed to come down 
uh, smoothly and have the swing arm be like this gentle thing. And uh, eventually the band was like, no, we wanted her crash and we want that swing arm to like really hit as hard as possible. And we're like, all right, this kind of changes things a bit because all of a sudden you have this giant crashing piano, which a lot of delicate triggers around and it's setting off mouse traps everywhere. And we're like, oh my God, we have to like completely re engineer <laughs> a lot of this top floor just to accommodate this giant falling piano. You really don't want to hear, hey, can we change this? Oh, well. You know, I mean, we were all wary of it when the uh, after the band uh, came back from tour, mm -hmm. and they were like, "All right, we're gonna spend these last uh, few weeks with you guys, um, really cranking out this stuff." <laughs> yeah. And we were really scared. We were like, "Oh my god, no. they're gonna come and change everything and whatnot." Yeah. But they came in, and th yes, they did require uh, uh, substantial changes, but they all made a lot of sense, and I think they 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 all made. For a much better video than uh, than, than no, what we were going for initially, and uh, I can't like for example that first table that Damien and his dad and his roommate made, uh -huh. we had built an entirely different table. We had spent three weeks making this other table that was pretty cool, but at the same time it was like our first the first thing that we built for the video, and it was there were too many random actions happening at the same time. The action was difficult to follow, and Damien was kind of unsatisfied with it. He was, thought it was cool, but it probably would have made for a good video. So we basically discarded that entire table, and he's like, he's like, all right, we're gonna make a brand new one in one week, and they made what I think is any, like a much more amazing. It's fun, yeah, yeah, and that's where I guess where his dad got involved. Yeah, yeah, right. Wow, that's really cool. All right, so we I, we should probably not rerun, but I just mm -hmm. I wanted to see that table, and it, it is it's very cool. So uh, moving ahead, things are getting bigger. Are we still? What floor are we on at this point? This is still the first still floor, the top floor. Okay, so this is still Hector's baby. Oh, yes. I love this flag. This this flag bit is really is really cool. There's by the way, the, the flag bit was one of the things that would often get triggered by the piano suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> you that you don't want to see out of the corner of your eye all those flags going. That's a bad sign. That was that was a drag. It was really a drag. Is it hard to reset? reset? Oh, I was going to say. So it's hard to reset them. Oh yeah. yeah. There was a team of people that were managing that. Just their entire job was to make sure that thing didn't go off early, or that it was being reset perfectly the same way every time it. There was a, those, that team deserves a lot of credit. So it was a lot of work. While you're shooting, is everybody out, off the set, or are there people like behind <laughs> the cameras, like scrambling around to get things going? Exactly. There are people. Well, there, there's literally going. people going crazy everywhere behind the the camera. It seems even in front of the camera, hiding behind things because they have to hold on to things so they really? don't get triggered. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so, I think yeah, most, I, I'm not really sure in that final take, but I, there there is a possibility that when you see those balls going down the little pachinko thing onto the mousetraps, there yeah. might be somebody sitting behind that that was previously holding on to the bar so that these little cans wouldn't go off. <laughs> so exactly, there's people hiding behind things. That oh, their amazing. whole purpose was to like just stop things from from triggering, and this, then they had to. Hide. This, you know, you're gonna get a million more views from people just saying, "Oh, okay, now I gotta find that." What yeah. else is going on? What else is going on here? This is. I mean, there's also there's a Mars rover in in, in there that the, the, the top of the arm uh, and and the actual rover is called the Rat, and so Eldar Noah who 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 built it actually put like a little like a little mouse a rat uh, on, on it? top of the arm. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, literally rat, rat the whole stands thing for rock is abrasion dense. tool, and they decided to put a real rat on there. Now, is this a little side room off behind this curtain or? Okay, right, so well, here's what's happened. So at this point, yeah. you, you the the cameraman has actually been on an elevator, lowered by a human, controlling his descent. Right? So it's kind of it, then, not a crane, but an actual just box. It was, we built a, we built a platform and we we put him. You know, we attached ropes and we harnessed the cameraman in, and um, we would clip him in as he as he sort of comes around behind the flags, uh, and starts watching right 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 where the uh, where the uh, rover starts going down its little incline there. Uh -huh. um, he he's on a platform and then he begins being lowered and he he's watching that's sort of the descent phase where the music is very dreamlike and the, the background is blue and we we are actually lowering from the second floor to the first and that's a 17 foot descent so it's not a <laughs> not a short descent either um and when he gets down to the bottom he's looking at the blue curtain <clears throat> which then um parts uh because of the actions of the of the descent and then once it parts it reveals uh, the the next uh, phase, which is the the silver ball. So he's descending here, right. down, he's down, 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 seventeen feet, and now he's going in, right. stepping right. off the elevator, going into a little curtain room we made, a little tunnel we built. So yeah. this is a handheld shot at this point. The whole oh, thing is handheld. Hand hand it's all handheld. Wow. Yeah, it's well, it's all steady, steady cam. cam steady cam. Thing. Okay. Yeah, steady cam. So that's a that's a fairly bulky setup. This guy's got to kind of 
maneuver it's a 50 pound rig he's walking around with <laughs> and what did you guy, shoot what did you shoot guy, it with did you shoot it you should, obviously digital right uh, uh yeah, yeah. Uh, Sony EX ones. What did I don't? What did you use? Do you I know? think it was an EX three. EX threes. Yeah, nothing. those are really nice. Yeah, Beautiful nice camera. high def camera. Yeah, and not so big. So it's it, for the Steadicam guy. He likes that. Oh, oh, this is my favorite part. Now there's the OK Go uh, video with the uh, treadmill. Actually, Leo, would you would you mind backing up a little bit? I want sure. to talk a little bit about this, the balls here. Actually, um, this this is actually first of all, it's worth mentioning that that the these these screens, each one of them were painted by Hector. Oh, um, you're kidding! Oh, they're gorgeous. And, and, and there's there's a trigger mechanism that's here. It's really clever. That was done by one of our guys, Brett Door. And so as the ball rolls, it's releasing each screen in, in turn. And then and then this last one here, there's a weight um, at the end of the track that gets knocked off by the ball, and that pulls on a string which releases the, the television. So there's, the, there's a lot happening here that's sort of invisible. It's really quite boom. Cool. Yeah, it's really, I mean, there's a lot of things, and people are like, uh, I've seen some comments, and everybody's like, oh, it's a lot of these things don't seem to be connected, but honestly, they all are. Like, even the descent, those little curtains that open, you see that little, uh, the, the, the bucket of water dropping, and it's pulling on these strings that go around pulleys and pull the curtains open. Everything in this machine was connected to each other, which is remarkable, and unfortunately, because of the reality of the situation... You can't see everything. Uh, you can't see a lot yeah. of it, and, but, I mean... There, you couldn't. Sure. You, yeah, this is not fake. This is not trickery. Right, exactly. You can tell. You can tell. I mean, look at how it's kind of. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, every moment you can tell it's just barely making it through. Right. Did barely you, making it through is a, is a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's you, right. It, it didn't work a lot more than it did. Later. Right. Oh, I'm sure it was released. So, when it like did. for example, that television smash. Yeah. Uh, there were many times that we we go to drop the the sledgehammer on the tel on the television and it would just bounce off the glass. Oh no. I mean how it was oh. amazingly disappointing. Yeah, and you're 2 minutes into this uh elaborate how long did it take you to reset if you get 2 minutes in you're gonna, you're talking hours before you can shoot again, right? Yeah. Close to an hour. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so you just got to hope it doesn't go dink. Well, actually, there were a few times when the TV when the TV didn't actually even get caught by the mechanism and it actually swung back at the camera. Oh. Oh. Which was really Actually, terrifying. I think uh, I remember looking at all the all, all the takes the, of the three takes uh, that we had gotten. The very best one was almost perfect in every way, except the TV didn't explode. It just went thunk, oh. and it was like, thunk, and it was like, it's crucial. It has to explode. It has to like, explode. Yeah, that's part yeah. of it. This party, and, this so, gag is great. These guys are really game to go for to go along with this. Yeah, this, was an, this was actually an early request that Damien had. He said, "I want to be launched across the room." Oh, he's sure. nuts. Yeah. Well. Did, did, yeah, we had designs for a catapult. We had designs for all sorts of stuff. We we settled on the zip line because this was the safest of the dangerous stunts that we could do. To me, it looks like a back injury in the making. I mean, look at this. This is crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff. Whoa! It's actually quite gentle. Is well, it? A lot of our guys wrote it. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. did. Was yeah, there the was there some of that in the background of people like saying, "Oh, let me try." <laughs> I oh, want There's a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> I would want it. Yeah. Like at that part, Dan, you want to mention why it, it, a lot of people have been asking why uh, Dan, the drummer, uh, looks to the side and kind of stops abruptly, stops <laughs> lip syncing. And people are wondering okay, so, what that's about. You know, one of the other realities of this is, is Damon goes flying through that big pile of boxes, right? And those boxes are going everywhere. And uh, there, there was a, a, a production assistant guy, this kid, uh, Griffin, whose job was to push all of these boxes out of the cameraman's way so we could actually make the path. Right. Every now and then, one of the boxes would land on the track <laughs> of the, of the, uh, uh, that barrel rolling down. And so previously, that meant like, that's it, the shoot shoots over because the barrel is going to hit that box. But right. Griffin had like knocked it off a little bit and just kind of moved on. So it, Dan, Dan looked over and he thought it was over. He said, oh, man, we, we're shoot, done. Shoot, busted. Yeah. Busted. Take but, busted. But just some, you know, quick move. So watch Dan. He's gone. Yeah, he uh, it's over. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. Uh, I guess we're still going. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He, he just like, oh, I just What are those? It. Are those ping pong balls? Cheetos? What are those? <laughs> those are ping pong balls. Uh, I, sorry, I should show it. I wasn't showing uh, it. Tennis balls earlier, but because uh, they're easier to pick up. But the band is actually a big fan of ping pong. And so they have they have some like ping pong salons in New York. And really? So they really wanted ping pong. So we <laughs> went with the mess and said, "Fine, we'll just clean it up every time." Hey, it's it's from uh, Captain Kangaroo. It's a uh, bunny rabbit. Would you guys are way too young? I, uh, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> way too young to remember that. Now this is now we're getting bigger. Oh, I yeah, love it I that you have right the here. make the make logo on this. By the way, by the great. way, right here you can see the elevator 
behind, like right there in front of you, there's that green thing, and then right to the right of that elevator, right to right of the green thing. Yeah, that's the elevator frame, <laughs> and then that black area to the right is that's the, the elevator. No, no, no. It's it's this that's, metal. Oh, that's the that's the uh, the box that's that the, the, yes, the ball the goes through. The, 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 right. The so the ball came the, down this path and around. Yeah. Okay. So he was riding a th this up and down. Crazy. Yeah. It's actually the it's actually the slight incline. Um, that There's the track a, is at actually a, like a 15 degree incline. Right. Oh, crazy. All right. You can see that. Yeah, and if you notice, you probably notice that the car is it. Not, it's the larger version of the <laughs> of the Lego car that you saw at the beginning of the, of the oh, Lego table. I didn't put two and two together. That's yeah, the, awesome. The, the Lego car is meticulously done. It even has the same like shark fin on the top and a oh, surfboard no. for a for a spoiler. Now you got now you got me. I got to oh there it is. <laughs> same vehicle with the shark fin, the spoiler, the eighty eight on the side. Let's go back. I think I think that's pretty cool that you're doing these kind of. And that car was held up by this thing called a sea catch, which was actually more expensive than the car itself. <laughs> well, the car was, I, think, I think it was the most expensive single piece of equipment that we purchased for the shoot. I have a little one. I have a little keychain version of the sea catch. Oh, here. let me see here. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that's what it looks like. Can you sell this stuff back on eBay? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> or you just keep. You never know when you're going to need a sea a sea capture. That's right. That's right. So what? So is that released by hand or no? No, that has to be released well, by a previous uh, yeah, act, the, right? Uh, the, when the barrel hits it, it pulls on a rope, and that knocks an anvil off of a stand. <laughs> and that anvil then pulls the little release on that catch. See how it pulls oh, that rope yep. and knocks that anvil off? Oh, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, 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 oh, I love I love how, how uh, Tim flinches a little bit with his yes. bowling ball comes rolling around. Yes, I, I know. I love that, too. I caught that. Yeah, really, I'm looking <laughs> at the band members because it's fun to watch them <laughs> Whoa, here comes... Whoa, watch out! <laughs> I love it. I love it. They're very game, though. I have to say, they really... Uh, oh, oh yes. geez. I mean, there's stuff falling from the ceiling. This looks scary. It's getting bigger oh, and, and this, bigger. This, yeah, this, this, this total ending chaos. stuff was almost entirely done by these two guys, uh, uh, Chris and this guy that we called uh, Pirate. And it was uh, an incredible amount of work on their part. This The very, like, from the... Uh, the chest of drawers falling over, uh, all of that was done in the last week. Uh, and it was just like last minute changes from the band that they really wanted bigger and crazier stuff. So they just worked at it full time and, and really hammered that stuff out. It looked, it, it was amazing. Well, they did a nice job. I have to say, let's, let's watch. This is the end where they get Slightly sprayed nice. with paint too, which is boom. I love the big stuff. I have to say that maybe that's just the boy in me, but I just love when stuff blows up like that. <clears throat> yeah. The only problem was the triggers were definitely hard to see. They just get lost in the mix. Right, because it's such a big event going on. But, mm -hmm. And it was so frustrating when, like, there's one time when there was a, 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 there's a, pin, a, a bowling pin that's supposed to fall off a shelf in the back and pull something off to, to release release the, uh, the, the big 55-gallon drum. And it just didn't fall off that one time because it was miss misplaced or something when it was set up and it was so frustrating because you couldn't even see the trigger and it didn't work <laughs> did that mean you, know, you have to start over yes yeah and we've got to start over from the top <laughs> you got to reset the whole thing it's not that bad when you have to reset and only half the machine has gone through but when you've gone all the way down to the end You're, this is the fails, end of the oh. yeah all right uh, now uh, these are paintball cannons what is what is it that they're going to get hit with here oh it's just it's just paint um, just to, just tempera, tempera child paint. safe. But how are you paint. shooting it at them? Well, it's a, the uh, the cannons are pneumatic, <laughs> so they're they're filled with compressed air, and there's a sprinkler valve on them. And when the when the when they're given an electrical charge, they uh, they release the air instantaneously, they and they blow the the paint right out of the tube. Of course they do. Of course they do. <laughs> of course they do. Oh, that is. By the way, he just gets his glasses on in the nick of time on that. Yeah, he 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 likes to cut it close. So is that that's part of the shtick? Yeah, that's, that. that's definitely. And oh. by the way, for well, what it's worth, the, the, the first the, time the, it wasn't part of the shtick, <laughs> and they said, "Hey, let's keep it." Like, that looked funny. It was. But he almost forgot it one time. That's for sure. You don't want to get tempera in your eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> That thing hit hard. Like at the very end of the shoot, we basically all stood up in front of it to celebrate, and we got to experience what it's like, and it's not pleasant. Well, that's what it doesn't look pleasant. It looks like getting no, hit by a paint gun. So, when they did the first time through, were their coveralls white? No, no, 
Okay, so they started with paint. That was always part of the thing. Yeah, that we 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 we'd start. We'd line them all up in the morning, and we'd we'd hit them with paint. Paint them. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was important to like really like have it part be part of uh, of the video right the that we're referencing the fact that we had to do this over and over again ah. also, there's a pile of tvs and that's why they start ah. uh, at the beginning already painted like tim is painted in red and like, the first question you ask is like why the hell is this guy right covered in what appears to be blood and then somebody? we answer that question it does look like blood at first and i have to say that <laughs> yeah. when i first saw it i went oh what is this going to be <laughs> I know. is this like an abattoir where what are we doing we, but, we had not planned on that at all we did not foresee that uh because for us, we saw him get shot with paint first, so we all knew it was paint. Right. We, right. you know, looking back, we probably could have used another color for the first guy. Right. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, looks it, so good in red, it looks like he's like, what has he been up to? <laughs> I know he looks like a crazy. Boy. What has he been up to? But you know, I, it works, and the and the car's red, so it, right. it works. Right. It works. So let's go back to the end. They've just they've they've been hit by uh, paintballs or whatever it is. I I think yeah, this no, is... not balls. Balls would have been really painful. No, yeah, just yeah. blobs. It's just a straight splash of paint. Just just yeah, just, 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 just gallons of tempura. Now, are, were these people all upstairs or did they run upstairs for the last shot? Uh, a lot of them were upstairs and they ran downstairs. Right, that's oh, a yeah, little mezzanine is... that's like in between both floors. In between, okay. Because I think that that's kind of the nicest part of this is. You know that a huge amount of work must have gone into it, and to give to give an acknowledgement to this big crew of people who obviously are thrilled that's, that's that it worked. A, a small fraction of them. Right. Yeah. Right. Those, those are only the people that could stay until 3 a.m. in the you know on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of the people who actually built the machine as well what? are not in that shot because they're currently upstairs resetting all the stuff that already went off in case uh, in, in turn in time for the next take. Oh man. It's such a successful video. It's just a fantastic job and very bold. I mean, we've seen, you know, there was that Honda ad, but that yeah. stuff pales compared to all the stuff you had here. I don't think anybody's done four minutes with so many crazy things going yeah, on. Yeah, I don't know. I have a lot of respect for the nice. Honda one. I mean, it's it's a master. It's like a... I don't know, like the way I see it, it's like that's like a super model of Rube Goldberg machines. It's just so elegant and so polished. And now it's just more like a girl that's probably not as cute, as hot, but she's right. much more fun to right. be with. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's the way I saw it. But I, I, I take my hat off. We're, no, theirs just, was very precise because they're they're showing off a car. So it's got to be very. You don't want a car that runs like this. You want a car that <laughs> right, right. right. But this is a little messy because it's this is art, and I think that that's what I really like about uh, about it. The, uh, the song is This Too Shall Pass. Uh, the video is uh, by OK Go and Syn, S-Y-Y-N Labs. And uh, is, is there a website uh, people can go to to find out more about uh, Syn Labs? Sure, SynLabs.com. S-Y-Y-N-L-A-B-S.com. That's right. And do you, you, you're not going to ever do another Rube Goldberg uh, project again, I'm sure. We're, we're, we're talking about doing something no. like that. <laughs> yeah, you're kidding, really? Not on the same scale. <laughs> <laughs> plans <are> the <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us. Let me play the whole the video all the way through so people can enjoy it. Uh, but uh, thank thank you for being here. We really uh, appreciate it. Um, and uh, I know, it, you know, there's probably the last thing you wanted to see is go through this again, but you did a great job. <laughs> Adam, I never get tired of it. Oh, good. Yeah, this is a great it's video. Always, always I love it every time. Oh, that's great. Adam Sandowski, who is the president of Sin uh, Labs, uh, Hector Alvarez, the uh, uh, a designer there and top floor director for uh, for the the video. And one of the directors. One I, gotta, of I gotta I got I I I I have to give acknowledgments to Brett Dorr and Jess Bresser, who also took a lot of the directing duties and 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 really you know pulled through on this. It's How clear that more than three people did this. Yeah. 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 It's <laughs> pretty obvious. And uh, Dan Busby, thank you for uh, joining us. The the bottom floor guy. Thank you all for yeah, joining us. Thanks for us. having us. We really appreciate it. What fun. Let's take a look uh, all the way through one more time. This too shall pass. Okay, go. Thanks, guys.
<laughs> I just love that. Man, is that good. How does it get sold? A couple of things from the chat room. They want to know how much it costs. Do you talk about the budget on that? Uh, we can't talk about the budget. Okay. Sorry, Leo. That's fine. <laughs> and uh, and the other thing, I thought it was I'm watching it. I, I, I didn't realize this, but everything's in perfect synchrony. Like when those curtains go up, they're going up with the beat. Yes. Yep. That, that was, was one of the hard. original holy, requirements. Holy cow. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of things in there go uh, uh, actually sync up with time, and it was always yeah. planned that way. And we came up with like very specific, like specific plans to how to actually achieve that, which was very difficult. But in the end, we we made it work. So, so you you have a way to slow it down or, or speed it up? No, it's just once you start it, it's going to well, go right. No, but I mean, for example. Um, we, we we built this thing in modules. We we built it in, in, in small sections that we can we, we we could play with, and most of them had at least one interaction that if it was going too fast, you uh. could adjust an angle or so until you finally got it within the time frame you needed. Right. And 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 that could work. But you wouldn't do it live. You would just you run have it. to do it as a reset. Right. Exactly. Right. You're yeah. like, all right, that ball went down that ramp a little too fast for this one, so turn it up a couple of degrees up and then you, you you can lose a few microseconds there and get it to get it to time the uh, musical glasses um, was that on the song and then you just dumped the song out because that's the actual sound of the glasses I right think. yeah that's that, that's that's the, the that's the notes that are played in the song uh, just you know he just tuned a bunch of glasses with uh, uh, you know some, bunch, some water and kept playing around with it and we had a little line on the uh, on each glass that we f made sure they filled up to because they would evaporate during the day Wow. <laughs> so to keep wow. refilling those glasses a little bit. It's incredibly... Uh, and, and, and by the way, it's worth mentioning that Hector spent a lot of time on the angle of the uh, of the, the wooden track with the balls. And I think ultimately we ended up with, with such a level of precision. I think we were at, what, 3.4 degrees? 3.4 degrees. It was something ridiculous. Like, we would shim it with, like, very tiny pieces of wood. <laughs> It was it was outrageous. I, I spent a full three days basically getting that to work, and we had to build so many fail safes into it. Wow. Like you'll notice, there's like two balls at the at the very end that that come out of the track because we couldn't guarantee that the very last one would make it to the little cup that goes back to the table. So we had to like double that. We had to cover one of the holes that the balls disappear into. It was it was a trial and error thing, man. It was crazy, yeah, it was and really we finally nice. made it happen, and we're really really proud. Really really well. Yeah, done. 80, 85 takes, Leo, of of which 12 of them got past the tire. Right. So that's, and that's the ones you don't want because that's, that's 12 that you have to go all the way back through the whole mm -hmm. dang thing. Yep. Wow. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your spending some time with us. I know the audience loved this. We'll put it up on uh, YouTube. And I'm sure that the band would want me to put this up. Uh, because yes, of course. I have a feeling <laughs> yes. that however much it costs, uh, you, you need some help to make that thing happen. So yeah, attention companies do this more often. Yeah, pay for <laughs> yeah. people to make awesome things. And EMI. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> that's not our business. No, yeah. no, that's yeah, not your problem. We talked to Damien a while ago. We we found out about that story. Sort right. of. He has a. I think they they don't. Nobody wants to say anything bad about anybody else. But it's nice that a band can go independent and can do this kind of stuff. I know they did this before they were uh, they had left the label, but I think that they're going to continue to do more and more of this. And it's great. Yeah, if anybody can do it, it's okay. Go. Oh, they're they're going to be very successful. <sighs> they're great. Well, they've now become. This is their. They have to. Yeah. This is their reputation. They've created this uh, incredible mm -hmm. reputation. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. it. Was you know I at first I said it was art. It wasn't. It's not about art. It was joyous. It's about fun. When those things inflate and they're going like this, it's fun. That's what really makes it happen. Yeah. Agreed. Thanks, guys. It really is fun. Thank Take you, Larry. Bye-bye. Yep. Thank you so much. All righty. Take care.